So I'm doing a quick unboxing of the Power Color Radeon 5750. The reason I went with this one, this is actually for a little build I'm doing for my parents. They, uh, they killed their laptop somehow or other, I don't question it at a certain point, and uh, they said, okay, well, we want to go with a desktop this time around, so I said, okay, and they said, well, what's the best thing? And, you know, my sister wants to run Sims 3 and whatever it is the kids, whatever games it is the kids play these days, you know how it is. So I said, okay, well, your best bet if you're going to be running Windows 7 is to go with something that features DirectX 11. They're not heavy gaming gamers, obviously, so we're looking at something like uh, a fairly low-end video card. So the 5750 is the most basic out there in terms of DirectX 11 video cards, and the reason I went with the PowerColor one was because it was the best price, and also PowerColor has been doing... They've been making huge strides in the North American market lately, and so they do a really good job of their support, and it had a $10 MIR on it, so if I get the MIR, then... Great. Um, another reason I've gone with this is because if it ever does get transferred to their media center down the, li down the line, which could potentially happen, the 5000 series cards feature 7.1 audio, which they are fully set up for. So I figured, hey, well, if this is something that we can use later on, even when it's not good for gaming anymore, then great. Actually, I should show you the quick like feature breakdown. So, 128-bit memory interface, PCI Express 2, 40nm uh, DirectX 11, Stream Technology, Crossfire X, Avivo HD, Enhanced Unified Video Decoder 2 for Blu-ray and HD content, which is a really cool feature because it means that the card will decode your Blu-ray content, and then built-in HDMI with 7.1 surround sound, which I already mentioned. So it comes in a fairly plain brown box once you get inside the retail packaging, and once you open that up, you will find a fairly plain brown box inside the round box which is not really even a box it's more like um, more like an insert so there it is okay so in terms of accessories we get wow nothing no accessories whatsoever with this card it is uh, there must be a reason that it was the uh, the least expensive one and I guess that's it that's okay I have all that stuff on hand anyway it's not really a big deal okay you get a quick installation guide where they show you how to plug in a six pin PCI Express connector, which this card will require. And they show you how to handle your graphics card and it unfolds a little something like that. Okay, comes in about eight different languages. Terrific. And then we've got the card itself. So I'm not expecting there to be anything standout-ish about this 5750. Actually, it looks like that cooler is designed by Arctic Cooling. I'm guessing right now, I'm actually guessing but it looks like we're using a quite large diameter fan. It looks like an 80 mil fan, and it's got a lot of blades, so I'm guessing it's gonna spin quite slowly and rely more on the static pressure to keep air flowing through the aluminum fins. Okay, so you can see here we've got our standard PCI Express uh, power connector back here. That's a six pin connector, as you can see. And then you've got your power delivery circuitry. You've got all the memory is cooled actively by the fan so if I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but if you look through the fins you can see that's where the memory chips are so they all lie directly under where the fan is blowing down which is really nice to see I mean memory doesn't really need to be actively cooled these days but it's never a bad thing you've got your standard PCI Express 2.0 interface here actually I think it's 2.1 but it is kind of irrelevant and then this is <laughs> this is kind of funny there's a 512 uh, meg version or a 1 gig version so you can see someone's put a little pen mark right here on the card this is the 1 gig version thank you for calling that out for me guys okay on the back we will find VGA, DVI, and HDMI. So unlike many other 5000 series cards, we do not have display port technology on this card. There you go, there's another thing that I probably should have noticed before buying it, but what are you gonna do? Uh, we've got our two Crossfire connectors here, and are you looking at those? You can see those? Oh. Okay, two crossfire connectors here, and then you've got uh, four more memory modules on the back. Thank you for checking out my quick unboxing of the Radeon 5750 from PowerColor.